So we work under my name as Adrian Sassoon and deal in contemporary and in antique 18th century works of art. I worked for many years as a curator at the Getty Museum in California with French 18th century furniture, porcelain, objects. Nowadays, most people would know me for selling contemporary ceramics, contemporary silver, objects made of bamboo, wood, stones, glass. Sometimes contemporary objects are made which actually are very similar in inspiration and for good reasons to something done decades, centuries ago. It's not as original, even if it's contemporary, but if you don't spend time looking at historic objects, how do you understand what really is innovative? A long time ago I decided I didn't want to sit in a gallery waiting for people to come and see me and what we have to offer. I decided we should go out and meet people, so we do art fairs. At our shows, we often have one, two or three of our artists talking about their work, about their colleagues' work, about techniques that they really understand well, even if it's not a piece made by them. So we have this great stimulation. You can go to a great art fair, but you can't talk to Picasso about one of his paintings. People often ask for advice about building a collection, and I'm old enough to have seen many, many collections of all sorts of subject matter, scale, value. A good collection can be one beautiful, beautiful object of its type. And the best collections definitely are made of the nicest kind of wow object of its type. And you're now looking at these explosions of scale, confidence. As people start collecting an artist's work, he or she tends to grow. We set a challenge we want pairs of things, sets of things, larger objects, precious objects on a small scale. And as these objects begin to appear, we're able to tell them how this fits into a career of an artist, where the museum should strike and buy that precious piece that's made in a rather magic moment for some reason. When you deal in contemporary works of art, newly created works of art, Discussion becomes a great part of the process, discussing with an artist, discussing with our colleagues as art dealers, and discussing with collectors. What's coming next? How did this come about? We're looking at new objects. There's a story behind everything that's happened. 